Hello, Tom Tom fam. Welcome back to a brand new video. What am I doing? Today, do a little proper digging, and you can tell I'm trying to sort my tripod out, and it's better now. So, no concerns at the moment. I hope so. This video today, before we start this video, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell, like the video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you guys are part of the Tom Tom fam. And, and that's all. And I'll see you down for the the bell is fair fire, so you can all know upload a video. It's gonna. So upload oh no, a video. So yeah guys, today I do another Premier League prediction. Because you know, it's the big game this weekend. Obviously you guys can tell I'm a bit well, I'm a bit knocked off in the other the other nice game man I'll tell you that guys. And so, so yeah, that means no, we don't want to unlock it, just do we guys. So we are going to do the Premier League match day twenty one. No matter about ten fifteen or twenty minutes. 10, 15, could be 60, maybe 70 matches time. So, we're not done. so my first one is, is the big game, and I'm not very happy at this round. It's, it's Arsenal and Manchester United. Now, Arsenal and Betis have to 3 1 in the revenge game, and they lost in the FA Cup 1 0. So, Arsenal have a bit of revenge there. Um, and you, <coughs> just so I'm absolutely knocked off with Man United. And if you're my United fan, you can disagree with me or you can agree with me. Just before we start, guys, apologise if it keeps a dark open because for some reason that light there, or probably how I move, so my apologies. Like I was saying, Arsenal beat Southampton 3 1, and my United lost 2 1 Sheffield against Sheffield United, the bottom of the league table. Like, that's embarrassing. So, I can't really say too much about that. I really can, I can't. So, well, I just sort the of, oh, oh, well, I just sort of tweaked a little bit with my results because I want to see how they're playing, Mandy and I'm playing a performance a performance but fair. I, I, I was going for one of Arsenal will change it. So my prediction for Arsenal and Manchester United, I'm going for a one one draw because you know because every, everyone keeps saying Man United are playing better away. Yes, I agree with them. But this is my opinion now, we won't win the league. We may not have won win the league now because we lost four games. We lost to sh the most embarrassing team in the world, Sheffield United. Like, so yeah girls, that is my result. And I'll just let me know, so my apologies. So next one is Brighton and Tottenham. Now, at about time we're watching this, Tottenham will be playing the poor, they will be playing the lose, draw, win, whatever, right? Brighton, the draw will be full of nil, nil. In my opinion, Brighton should have won because how they they are a good team. Brighton are a good team, and for some reason, Brighton just didn't have the to have the scoring goods. So my prediction for Brighton and Tottenham, I'm going for a two 0 to Tottenham Hotspur because Tottenham they can win, they can win some good games. They can. I'm not saying they can't. They can. It just obviously they got Liverpool. Whilst I've been watching this, they'll be playing this that the other. So yeah. Next one is Chelsea. Next one is Chelsea and Burnley. The new Chelsea manager has already been in 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 the, the game. Jordan Neil with Burnley because I don't know as you guys know. So in my previous video, Frank Lampard has been sat due to the last six games on the trot in the season. And that's, so yeah, I'm um, Burnley. Obviously, you probably I forgot how you yeah, yeah you you bet Aston Villa three two and guys. Villa was winning one nil. There was one nil. It was like, and then it was like two one to Villa, and I lost three two. Two goals in two or three minutes. That is just is not very really good for Villa. That is like, but, but like I said, Burnley. Burnley is good team. Burnley, like since Sean Dyson has been one for a good long time, Burnley decides to can't win. Now they've got disappointment from the big boys like Man U. Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal, I have a few that come up soon. So yeah, my prediction for Chelsea and Burnley, I'm going for a 2 0 win to Chelsea because my prediction for the last time was like 2 1 and it was the most boring game. It was like a 0 against Wolves. Well, Wolves are a good team. What do you expect? You know what, do you, what do you expect? I mean, if, if they can't win some, they can't lose some. That's what I can say. The next one is, is Crystal Palace and Wolves. Again, like I said, Wolves played Chelsea, they lost the draw 0-0, and Palace are 3-1 against West Ham. 
the long run look like sticking out my hair, I know. I know I know you guys are telling me in the comments I need to get a haircut. I know. I will do one day when I will apologies, I know. So um Palace, you've you ain't been playing that brand. This is my opinion guys, like you guys have your opinions in the comments below. But Palace, it's like the bet man I don't think like the second match of the the opening that second match. And obviously they're over there Man United. Yeah, like I said, Man United will win the league now more. With, with, with one point beyond Man City. Whereas a ma massive miracle, 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 Man City loses 10 matches or 9 matches. But that would never happen because Man City are a good team. So, so like I was saying, so my, my prediction for Palace and Wolves, I'm going for a one to Wolves. Because any Wolves fans watching this might be agreeing with me or disagreeing with me. Because Wolves are a good team. I mean, I mean they play Chelsea and, and they've got the one two one or at, at their at, at their home ground. Next one is Everton and Newcastle on the mid obviously the weekend. Like, Everton, you guys know they draw one one with Leicester in that midweek midweek football. And Newcastle not surprised lost two one and Leeds now won back to back wins over Newcastle home and away. Like that is described for Newcastle. Not being funny, Newcastle. You bought some players. You haven't put them on the pitch. Simon, mind you, you you bought some players. You put them on the pitch. And I'm not. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I will talk about money in the future. Because now, it's, we're match day twenty one. Yeah, you're probably thinking Everton will win or Newcastle will win. It's just a game, and then like. So my prediction for Everton and Newcastle. I'm going to go for a 1 0 to Everton because Newcastle ain't been on form. Newcastle can't even win. I mean, they can't win matches. And that's what really, really bugs me. I'm sorry about this, guys. Brian, I don't know if you can, if you're going to watch it, Brian's comes up. Next one is Leicester. Leicester and Leeds. Both these teams pretty played well. Leeds met Newcastle 2 1. And then. Um, Lee Leicester draw one one against Everton. Now you guys know you can you can, you can tell me to mind my own business or you can just say James I agree with you or disagree with you more. Leicester are third, Man United second, and Man City first. A point behind each team. Well, Leicester's two points, Man is only one point. Yeah, I was thinking James that's not bad for Man. Yeah, probably is for you for Man United fans. Like, oh yeah, I'm Man United fans as well. So I'd like, if I'm talking about Man United a lot in this video, but it's disappointing in that. that, that that uh, Liverpool night's nice, uh, result. So, Everton and Leeds, I mean Leicester and Leeds, not Everton and Leeds, Leicester and Leeds, not that bad to be honest, not bad, I'm, like, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to say my bidding for Leicester and Leeds, I'm going for a 3-0 to Leicester, because yeah, Leeds can still, Leeds, they're playing pretty good against the weak team like Newcastle, Sheffield United, West Brom, all them are fallen, yeah, they are good. When they're playing against the big boys like Man City, Tottenham, Arsenal, Chelsea, Leicester, Liverpool, all them lot. So yeah, so that's my prediction, guys. Next one is Man City and Sheffield United, you know, two teams, massive. Yeah, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna give some respect to Sheffield United, you know, the bet man. You know, it, you 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 played Man, you got you got Manchester City. Yeah, you think oh, we should hope to beat. Sh uh, Man City, if you're Sheffield United fans who's watching my bins, probably not if you are, there it is. Man City fans, you say, oh, you, it's gonna be right in the comments, oh, we're gonna win, we Sheffield are gonna lose. If if Man City and Man United lost to 2 1 against Sheffield, we got that, we got that revenge on the neighbours, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but, right. but if you're Man City fans, you can see, yeah, Man City can beat him more than two goals. I mean, that, yes, yes, uh, Man City was impressed against. There was one five 0 against Wolves um, against West Brom. West Brom haven't been playing that brilliant, like I said. Um, Sheffield, you even though you've been absolutely appalled and you've won two matches now at alert uh, twenty one. But you drawed a few in the meantime. So yeah, my prediction for Man City and Sheffield United, I'm going for a four 0 to Manchester City. Man City never concedes goals. Never. I mean, they might do like an odd one, or like, like odd one, yeah, in, in that Chelsea and the Man City game in the FA Cup, yeah, losing one you nil. Know? But in that, in the, Man City picked up in the end, like, when, it, like, when I mean, so, that's all I can say. Next one is Southampton and Aston Villa. Now, Southampton, these two teams both lost. Southampton and Villa, so they're both, one of them is going to have a disadvantage about 
that. So, as you can tell, Southampton, Villa, they both lost. What do you want me to say? What, what, what are you going to say about that? Not really, nothing really much to say about that, in my opinion, guys. I'm just going to say, I'll do it for us, I'll do it for us, winning 1-0, and it was like a draw 1-1 and 2-1, and lost. I think you, if you guys can let me know in the comments, I'll probably lost. There was score, Burnley scored two goals in two minutes. That's like the world record, record, record for Burnley. And uh, so my prediction was Southampton last time. I'm going for a Southampton to win two one. So they will concede Southampton. But so yeah, next one is West Brom and Fulham. These two teams, they're like that at the moment. So I can say about that. But you guys can tell me in the comments. Yeah, West Brom. Haven't played half. They haven't them them probably them worse than Man United. Yeah, I like West Brom. I like all the other teams around the the, 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 the you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I like oh, excuse me. I like them. But just a band of I mean on a amount amount of amount. And I might do excuse me, I might do a video about West Brom one day. A disadvantage around because they've lost every single game. They've only won two matches and drawn Five, maybe six games. That is not good for my West Brom. Like, to come to be runners up, second place from the championship to like the 18th or 19th of the bottom of the relegation in Premier League. No, sorry, but that's what I'm going to say. Now, my prediction for West Brom, I'm going to give you guys some hope and I'm out about them. I'm going to go for a West Brom to win 1 0. Because, you know, for them, for them, for them, they can just draw or lose. And last but not least, is West Ham at Liverpool. Obviously, Liverpool will be playing against Tottenham by the time, which is not going to be played just that deal. West Ham bet uh, Crystal Palace 3 1. West Ham on a road, they might, they're in the top, top six now, they're in like them European football. If they can win every game, I think they'll be some, some tighter contenders. West Ham, right, at the moment, as it, is, as it stands, we call Chain Violin. Uh, Man City's top, Man United, Leicester, probably, and then Tottenham, then Liverpool and Tottenham. And then you got West Ham in the top six, probably in the top ten. So my prediction for West Ham and Aston Villa going for a three 0 two win for Liverpool to, to beat West Ham. So guys, that is it for today. I know it's like not very. So I'm so like my apologies if you if you if I'm moving back and forth and it gets right and tough for some reason. It's how probably the weather is and the lighting. Don't ask me. It's, every time I move, it's just like that. So guys, my apologies for that. I'm going to show rumbling on now. So guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure you subscribe if you're great. be a part of the top of the fam. Make sure that bell is there for you to upload a video. And make sure you stay safe if you're around the world. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace and goodbye.